Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Country In My Soul by the Florida Georgia Line. And we're going to end up cabling this on 5th fret to match the recording, but we're going to start on an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string, 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and that sounds very sad. Now on our intro, actually, it's all kind of around the A minor, actually. And there's this really, really cool lick, actually, that kind of works off an A minor 7, where if you lift off the third finger, that sounds an A minor 7. It kind of just won't work in just that A minor. And that intro lick, it's almost kind of like you do a down with just the open strings, which uh, technically would be like an E minor 11 chord. And you do a hammer on into the A minor 7 shape. So we got kind of a down hammer on idea. And then we do a down, down, up, up. And then we lift off the 1 and 2, and then do a down, and then we go back to A minor 7 for another down. So we got down, hammer on, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up. And then you lift the A minor, down, and then back to the A minor for the last down. Now a lot of times, just to support my voice though, I like using some things called strum patterns. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you could do it that way too. So if you took A minor and tried a lot, you'd have just down, down, up, down, up. be a cool way to kind of enter the tune. Now something else you may want to add to that too is basses and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor you have the A string for your bass. Down, up, up, down, up, bass. Down, up, up, down, up. Although that intro like actually is kind of working off of something called a 16th note pattern. <laughs> and, and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot of the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you, if you take the A minor and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down. Beat, you're going to up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one up, down, one up, down, one up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, you got down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. But you can kind of throw in that, that hammer on the beginning of that. And make it a bass. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, bass. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, bass. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And then from that intro part, we'll be going into our main verse form. And our main verse starts on the A minor, but then we go to an F major chord. And we'll talk about an easy way to play this, but if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret and the pinky on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an F major bar chord and it sounds really happy. And that good substitute for that though is something called F major 7, where you do the 1st finger on the B string 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G string 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an like F major 7 and it sounds really groovy happy. And then from the F we're going to be going to a C major chord and we play C major. 1st finger stays on the B string 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string, 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to go into a G major chord. We're going to play G major. 1st finger goes to the A on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the low E string on the 3rd fret, and 3rd finger on the high E string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really happy. And a lot of our song, actually, our main verse course kind of works in just that A minor, F, C, G progression. And we do 
that until we get to kind of a tag for that, actually kind of repeat that until you get to kind of the, the tag for all those, it's kind of that F major, and then we go to a G major at the end. So you could do that with the down, down, up, up, down, just to try that. And you have A minor, down, up, down, up. A minor with an A bass. On the F bar, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the C, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. So A minor with an A bass. On the F major 7, you'd have the B for the bass. Down, up, up, down, C with an A bass. Down, up, up, down, G with low E bass. Down, up, up, down. And we just repeat that until we get to kind of that F and G tag at the end. Or if you're digging on the 16th note pattern, you'd have A minor. through the song actually where we're kind of doing eight downs on each chord can kind of be kind of a cool thing too to kind of make it sneaky and I kind of adding in a little bit of right hand beauty on that so if you want to play around with that too especially on the tag it might be kind of a cool thing to kind of, kind of work downs and kind of build up some energy to kind of go back into that, into that A minor F C G progression now the weird part is to play along with, with Florida Georgia Line instead of starting on an A minor chord they're starting on a D minor chord so to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 5th fret, then now your A minor is really a D minor chord, and your F is really a B flat major, and your C major is really an F major, and your G major is really a C major. But you could kind of kick it off with kind of that lead-in lick, kind of that down. From there, they'll be going into our main verse chorus. So we could do that with a down, down, up, up, down, up. Now, hey, minor, down. second verse chorus, there's kind of this big stop on the kind of an A minor chord before we kind of pick it back up on our A minor and our F and kind of go back and out our verse progression. And it does kind of it differ actually like, like the number of times you repeat the A minor F C G progression. The first time you end up doing it two times before you do the tag. And then the next time is it's almost kind of five times before you do the tag. And then it's three times before you do the tag, but that's kind of after that. Watch out for, for where those parts happen. And there are, are some places, especially right after the solo, actually, where you may want to kind of just go to downs for the A minor and that F before you kind of pick it back up on the C chord. Now, if you know other licks around those chords or other ways to play those chords, too, you know, it can be kind of, kind of a cool thing to kind of mix it up.
progression one time for that A minor. But that's the basics of how you get strung through country in my soul by Florida Georgia Line. So good luck.